Yeah, good morning and welcome to Epcot. Today's gonna be a pretty great day. We're back in. Coming actually from the the back end, we're gonna eat some food, see some sights, listen to some sounds. It's just gonna be generally a a, a, a good day. I can feel it already. Yeah, one pleasantry is this nice shade that's gonna be short-lived because uh, there's not a whole yeah. lot of shade out here. Right, so right. what we're gonna do is we're gonna walk out of it into the sun and feel it. All right, here at France, where we started out with a nice, nice what, a rose slush. Is that what that is? A little tiny little six ounce of Cronenberg. And we got the uh, onion tart, although in French it looked way Harder more like uh, complex. This is easy. Maybe you cut it and then eat it like a pizza. Oh, that's pretty good. Very oniony. Let's see what this is like here. Oh, it's very flaky. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's ultra flaky. It's almost got the flavor of like cornbread stuffing, mm. which is good. I like. And the Cronenberg, little six ouncer. Oh, that is refreshing. That feels really good down the old gully hole. Yep, just after 11, you see there, we just started. But here at France, that was a, that was a good start. The delicious onion tart, a nice crispy Cronenberg, and a succulent rosé slushy. Found some lonely shade here from this lonely tree. Thank you for visiting us today. Oop. Just a few reminders. There's a guy saying Please some wear stuff. Please face covering. Clean your hands often and thoroughly. Check. Cover Check. your mouth and nose Check. when coughing and sneezing and maintain physical distancing. Thank Easy. You. Easy things. There's like hardly anybody around here though, so. So that makes it a little easier to find the shade because usually if there's a lot of people, the shade gets taken up pretty quickly. Look at the ground. You can see there is like sun everywhere. Shade, not so much, so get it while you can. So from Brazil, we actually got, JR got a little something here. Me and Jessica, we picked up a water because we need it. It is so hot. But JR got some crispy pork belly on a nice bed of something, black bean stuff. Oh, yeah. JR loves bacon, so I think he's, he's thinking this is going to be like bacon. Bit of shade further on down the road here, just past Morocco, where actually we got a couple of snacks brought up by Jessica here. Spicy hummus fries mm -hmm. and a Mediterranean six ounce beer. Get a little bit of that cucumber. Mmm. That's really good. And spicy. You can see this is all we have left of our fries. What our hummus fries? They were really excellent. Like at first bite it was just like, eh, it's okay, but after eating it more and more, it was very delicious. This beer, I mean, it was a beer. It was a Mediterranean beer, so I don't know what that means. It didn't really have a name. It just said Mediterranean beer, but it was good and it was refreshing. One thing I'm noticing is uh, after those hummus fries, tell you what, the, the, the mask breath is a little... Yeah, it's spicy. So it's a little bit rough. I might have to do something to remedy this. Oh, Japan with your beautiful architecture. Such an amazing, ah, amazing pavilion. All around, 360 degree view. Look at there. Ooh, we're gonna go into Mitsukoshi. Oh, I bet there's AC in there. Oh, these are fun. Whoa, ninja mugs. Might have to get that. JR got one of his cool little marbly drinks. Where you got a little, where you got a little marble on top. You gotta pop that down in there. And Jessica's gonna go over here and get a. I think she's gonna get a little sushi thing from the little Japan little kiosk. Oh, we got a little bit of shade. Thanks, clouds. Let's we'll see how that works. But Jessica, here's her thing she got. She's got like a little sushi flower pot. And she also got this little drink here. Some sort of, oh, what's this thing called? Oh, some sort of martini from over at the Old Japan Pavilion. Now it's time to stop off at the Old American Pavilion where over oh, the hops and barley. This is the booth. Hops and barley. Jessica picked up this uh, low country boil. Yeah, it's a southern boil and she got me a uh, uh, a beer, whatever this one is. Ooh, it's a blue star wheat. That, that'd be good for how hot it is because it's super hot. Don't need anything too thick. Oh man, look inside of there. Wow, that's looking right back at me. Just 
Jessica kind of had a little fail there with that crawfish. She kind of lost track of the thing, flicked it up right in her face. <laughs> that's, I don't think that's how you're supposed to eat them. I don't think I'm going to have any of the, the boil just because it's really hot out and I don't know, it seems a little heavy, but it looks delicious. It's like the colors are awesome and it smells delicious, but I think I'm going to stick to like lighter fare today. Like this. Careful, James. Don't spill it. Uh, too late. <laughs> Leave it to me. Well, I do have my a drink. I got a mint julep. It's pretty fancy, right? Oh, we're in Italy. Wow. So shiny and bright here. I can't, I can't drink it. So I'm going to have to make a pit stop because I'm holding this in one hand, holding you guys in the other. Ah, that's better. <laughs> I think I got a defective straw. JR is going to go get me another one. But I think there's a... I think there's like a cavalcade coming down Say the way. Something. Something's coming. There's music getting louder and there's people walking. So that's going to be neat, I think. We'll see. I haven't seen anything like that here at Epcot in good Never. group years. I, she's never seen anything like that here at Epcot. I remember a thing, a weird thing with big tall people doing stuff. It was cool, but anyways. See if I can figure out this straw conundrum. There is nothing happening. What is wrong with the straw? It's like there's something stuck in it. Hmm. <laughs> there was like some some suck. There was something stuck in it. What a lovely mint julep. Let's get a little bit of them. Words, talking, speaking, it's foreign to me, obviously. I'll get there one day. That is good though. If anybody's interested, that is the margarita flatbread from Italy. And uh, it works. It looks pretty much like the, you know, cafeteria, school cafeteria pizza, which was Always one of my favorites, so take that for a, a positive or a negative, depending on your taste, just like anything. But, no matter what your taste is, this view is always a good view. So we're gonna head on over to Mexico, no, not Mexico, not yet, Germany. Going over to the Caramel Cooch. Caramel Cook. Uh, okay, oh, I thought it was closed, but they just have it rerouted. But I gotta see if they have that sandwich cookie that is absolutely delicious. My favorite thing. I had it one time there. But I'd like to, I'd like to have it two times. Ah, oh, dang it. It's not in here. It's not gonna be this time. What the heck, Germany? What the heck? You had it one time. Why can't you have it again? This is my favorite thing. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll, I'll maybe I'll link it up whoop, right around in here. Or maybe it's on this side. Could be. Well, this is a nice place to be. Look at the, got some cloud coverage. That helps a little bit. It's still hot, like a hundred plus feels like, but there's a little bit of a breeze, which is nice. So anyways, we came over here to China. We're gonna hit some, uh, we're gonna hit? No, we're gonna get. We're not gonna hit the buns. We're gonna get the buns. Look at that line back there. See that line right there? That's for frozen. From Norway to China, that's a long way. That's a long line. So we came back here from China, got some food. We got a, uh, a Mongolian beef bao bun. Did I say Mongolian? Is it Mongolian beef or is it just beef bao bun? I don't know. Can you just see the flavor? Get really close to the screen and just take a big whiff because that smells delicious. <sighs> to wash this thing down, we got a little Baijiu punch, which is which is really good. It's, it's kind of strong sometimes. I don't know how it's going to be right now, but usually it's pretty good. You know what? Let's find out. 
Yeah, it's a bit strong. It needs to be stirred? Oh. It's easier. Still good. Mongolian beef. Mmm, that was a good flavor. The beef is very tender. I had you drinking so much water though. Mmm. So beautiful also. The colors, the greens, and the reds, and the golds, and the lotus. I do like China. China Pavilion might be my favorite to look at. I say that about all of them really. But right now this is where I'm at, so I like it the most. Ah, oh, Mexico. We might, you know what? We might head in there. See if the three caballeros have a little space for us. I mean, for one, it's got some AC. Two, it's a nice, relaxing, indoor boat ride. I can feel the AC already. This is amazing. Usually in Florida, it's hot. In the nighttime also, but out here in Mexico, it's a nice, cool, brisk, Oh, Mist to the air. Man, but before we hit the three caballeros, there is a little place over here. La Cava del Cate Tequila? Do I always say that wrong? La Cava del, Ca Te del Tequila. Dang it. I always mess that up. Maybe I have to have a couple of shots before I can actually say it. That's what it seemed like anyways. Let's try that. Man, this place is actually so cool. I might just... You know what? Let's get a little bit of that B-roll action. All right, well, we got a little something from La Cava del Ca Tequila. Gosh, I can't say it right. I guess I need to have a couple of drinks first before you can actually say it right. But Jessica, she got the, um, what is this called? Mine's called the Wild One. Oh, it's the Wild One. Uh, this is actually, ha it, it features tequila um, from The Rock. You know, that guy. Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Terramana Blanco Tequila. Mine is. James's is stuff I can't read, so here, I'm gonna just show it to you. Can you even see that? I don't I really know. know, but there it is. And then <laughs> this one right here is the wild one with, oh, this is so I think hers has a little chili liqueur in it, so it's giving it a little heat, a little spice, a little something to, you know, balance out the sweetness. And mine, uh, I haven't even tried mine yet. So, let's try this. Ooh, that's like smoky. It's got like that smokiness to it. It's like barbecue tequila. That's delicious. Oh, ooh. Glass is fogging up, but uh, we're gonna take our drinks on the go. We're gonna see what's going on around the rest of the park. We've got our friends. Our friends are here passing along with us. Wow. Thank you for having us. Well, look at these little ducks here. They're actually not little. They're actually pretty good sized ducks. And look over here. We got a little crane type creature and a bunny. Also, we have a JR who got a little bit of the, the cheese, cheese bacon, bacon and cheese soup type stuff from uh, over here in Mexico, or not Mexico, Canada. It's Canada. Also got a little pretzel there to dip in there. Really enjoy it. Oh man, it's turning into a beautiful afternoon. Here across from all Canada, you know, yeah, I just had a little snack from there. I think we're gonna go to the, there's a little festival, like, I don't know, house? What do you call it? A little festival house. We're gonna go in there and see what special things they can share with us. All right, so we're going into the festival, festival building, the World Show Place. Wow. I don't know if I've ever been in here, but this is cool. To the World Show Place. Look at that Disney D on the ground and whoa! This building is massive. It is huge in here. What the heck? Who even knew this thing was a thing? I did not. Look at all these kiosks. You got festival favorites, desserts, champagne, apple seed orchard, mac and cheese. Holy moly. Oh, looky there. We've got a little chef doing chef things. Making little pies and little 
little thingies. And this gentleman here, he's gonna make our little Guinness shake. Ooh, that's gonna be, ooh, look at that. Spanic Capita and Guinness Bailey shake. Spaceship Earth, we will not see you today because we're heading this way out back to the back of World Showcase, back to the back to the out to the Skyliner. Take us back home. Off we go, waiting for another day to experience you, Spaceship Earth. Ooh. Listen to that music. That can only mean one thing. Well, that can actually only mean a few things, but one of the things it does mean is that we're on our way out of Epcot, back, back to the back where the Skyliner is so we can make our way back to the hotel. Oh yeah, we'll be on one of those, their Skyliners here shortly. Ooh, off we go. Oh, what a day. Oh, yeah. Listen. Welcome aboard the Disney Skyliner at Epcot International Gateway. We hope you enjoyed what? your visit to Epcot <laughs> and World Showcase. So that's what we call a pretty good day we'll over in old Epcot. Disney's Boardwalk Inn and Disney's Boardwalk Villas. We had a great day today, <laughs> and it, the things went just as planned, if not completely not as planned, which is great. In any case, we want to uh, thank you guys for watching this. Anyways, we appreciate it. And we'll see you guys in the next one. As far as we're concerned, yeah. That is pretty cool. <laughs>